What it do, what it do, fam. Your boy D. Back with another video. I'm gonna ruffle a little feathers today. And um, you know what? I don't care because my Lord and Savior, hey, Jesus Christ, is more important. And um tomorrow is supposed to be the day of resurrection that we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen. The resurrection Sunday, but this is what our country is being ran by. Amen. And this is to me sheer blasphemy. And I'm not saying I'm well, I am saying it is sheer blasphemy because he wants to acknowledge, you know, transgender day over over the resurrection of Jesus Christ. I'm gonna play this clip and I want you to see this for yourself. This is it's disgraceful, y'all. It's very disgraceful and distasteful. Look, just listen. To everyone celebrating Transgender Day of Visibility, I want you to know that your president sees you. Jill, Kamala, Doug, our entire administration sees you for who you are, made in the image of God and deserving of dignity, respect, and support. But we know it's hard when there are those out there who don't see you and don't respect you. For example, the onslaught of anti-transgender state laws, attacking you and your families, is simply wrong. This administration is standing up for you against all these hateful bills. And we're committed to advancing transgender equality in the classroom, on the playing field, at work, in our military, in our housing and healthcare systems, everywhere, simply everywhere. Today, we're announcing even more steps, but there's always more work to do to end the epidemic of violence against transgender women of color and girls of color, to ensure transgender seniors can age with dignity, dignity, and to finally pass a bipartisan Equality Act to help transgender persons around the world live free from discrimination and violence. That's enough for me right there. That's enough. That's right there saying where his man said he is. I mean, this is what our country is being ran under. And this is what's being condoned over our Lord and Savior. You are choosing something that's pretty much like you're talking about transgender. Um, I'm just going to say this right here. And I'm going to read out of Romans chapter 1. Um, and people can get offended if they want to. But this is what the Bible says. This is what's written. You know, and I, like I said, I love everybody. I don't care who or what you are, but I still love you. But the truth got to be, you know, told. And, and I'm just going to lay out the truth as well, you know. Romans chapter 1. Let me see where I can say this right here. Okay, my Lord. Okay. Now, right here, and this is what it says right here, chapter one in the 27th verse, it said, and likewise, um, also the man that leaves his natural use of a woman and burn it lust one towards another. And a man with the with the man work it with unseemly and receiving itself that <clears throat> recompense of their errors which which was met. And even as they do not like to retain God in themselves, acknowledging God. And give, I mean, God will give them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covenantness, malice, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, and whispers. Okay. That right there on the 27th said enough right there for me. You know, he said right here, I'm going to go to the 26th verse. Said, for a case God gives 
up yeah up a vile affection for every um every woman women that do this change the natural use into which is against the na na nature and it goes back in, in um 27 about the man now he said he's gonna give you over to a reprobate mind if you decide that but then joe biden is condoning it on the day of the lord of his resurrection that we celebrate resurrection sunday he's making it national transgender day i mean like i said i have nothing against that community or whatever well i'm just going by what the bible says and it is what it is you know he said he'll give it over to a rubber bait mine because it's unnatural but joe Beasy here he you know this is just the corrupt america that we're living in so and this is why i don't like politics and this is why i don't like either party you know i'm not republican i'm not democrat but it is what it is and this is what i'm seeing i just had to post this video because like i said to me what he's doing it's sheer blasphemy because it's, I mean, he's putting this over the holiday that we set aside to celebrate Resurrection Sunday of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ on the day that he rose. Amen. And the day that he saved us. And she, after he shed his blood and redeemed us and bought us back. But this is the payment that he get from our officials, government officials and, and presidents and stuff. So I, it is what it is. This is why it's good to stay on God's side. This is why it's good to have a relationship with Jesus. This is why it's good to know God for yourself. Because then things like this, is not going to sit right with your spirit. Till we meet again in the next video, God bless you. Peace.